Hi everyone, it's Lisa here and I'm back with another Art Party Friday. And um, I'm going to do in my art journal spread in this really big book that I have. I think it's an 11 by 14, so it's 11 inches wide by 14 inches tall. So it gives me quite a wide surface to um, do my art journaling in. Now, there is an inspiration piece. I'm not really sure how I'm going to incorporate any of this. Um, but I'm going to tell you what I do like. I do like this kind of really soft blue on these mason jars. And I really kind of like this kind of like, um, it's almost like pom-poms on a Christmas tree, but I do like kind of how it looks almost like holly berries. Um, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to interpret this all in. I know for the background, I want to start off with this really soft, really blue background. So I'm going to do that. Um, what I'm going to do is I've already started off. I pre gessoed my page. I take the spine. I have some golden teal paint and I am going to actually mix that in with some either gesso or white paint and I'm going to really blend it out. So that way I get this really, really soft, uh, light blue and I'm going to concentrate it more around the edges and leave it a really kind of like a whiter, um, paler, even like a pale blue or more white in the middle of the page. So I'm going to do that. Like I said, I'm not really sure. I don't really have a plan per se. So, um, I think the easiest thing to do is I'm just going to throw it on my palette paper here and let's just get like that much. Um, and then, you know what, let's just use gesso just cause it's right here. And I'm, thinking I'm going to use a paintbrush for this. I'm not really sure. I want to really blend it out and I just clean my hands. So I don't really want to like get in there with my hands. Um, the other thing I'm going to put on here is a little bit of acrylic glaze, just in case I need to extend that paint just so that I can blend it out really well. So I'm going to start doing that. Um, I might just kind of zip through fast forward for a little bit and kind of stop every now and again, and just kind of let you know what I'm doing. So sit tight, grab a cup of coffee and enjoy the show. And uh, if I don't say it at the end, have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I see like a holly tree, like ever since I said like holly, so I see like a branch with like holly berries and stuff like that. So um, I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this. So I'm just going to show you the colors that I have and then you guys can just sit back, relax and just watch the process. I will be bringing in some reds and some whites and maybe even some pinks for the berries and then I'll keep like the same white and blue for the snow. I want like snow kind of like on the holly berries as well as the branch. So I have some, um, carbon black. I have, um, raw umber. Uh, this is burnt umber light and then burnt sienna. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of take like a liner brush and then I'm just going to start doing the branches of the tree and then I'll come in later and do the holly berry. So, uh, sit tight and here we go.
recording guys I only have like 5% left my battery died so I know the pictures are not or like the videos not doing you justice justice but this is like one of the best things I've done in like a long long time and I know I keep saying that but I guess it's just like the growth that I've been developing so I even signed my name and put 15 on here and I wish I did this on a canvas so the only thing I did after the camera was off was I finished frosting in the berries and then I put like this blue little snow halo on the tree branches and then that's it um, a very kind of like simple esque kind of uh, page but very much Christmassy but very much elegant um, I really wish I did this one on a canvas. Anyway, that is it for uh, the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. Thank you so much for watching and uh, just kind of sitting back and relaxing and watching this video. I will see you guys coming up soon. Stay tuned for the videos um, for tomorrow as well as the close-ups of this particular layout. I will talk to you guys soon. Hey everyone, it's Lisa here. So I just wanted to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I won't be back on the Crafty Maven channel until 2016 so I just wanted to say thank you to Hannah and all the girls over at the Crafty Maven for letting me be part of the Crafty Maven getaway channel for 2015 and I'm excited about what 2016 has to offer uh, for the Crafty Maven getaway channel so um, thanks everybody for watching my journey as I have been taking part in the art party Friday and I feel like my art is like really taken off lately so I'm super excited so anyway, I wanted to do a quick little update as to my art party videos. Sorry it got cut off halfway through battery issues. Sorry. It's like the bane of my existence. So anyway, this is the finished page in my art journal book. Um, for the reds that I used was a bunch of different colors of reds. Um, I used like a cadmium red, a light cadmium red. Um, naphthol red I know they have all funny names and then I would use like a brown mixed in with the red to do the um, darker tones in the red um, to, to create the shading so I just wanted to give you a little heads up I know I didn't say that on the video or tell you what colors I use and basically that's all it uh, it was and then just with the white with my finger and then a little bit of the teal blue to create that like really frosted look so I was so excited with this page that it just, it made me giddy for the first time in a long time, an art journal page made me completely giddy. So, and I said on the video, I wanted to do it as a canvas. So da, 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 here is my canvas. And I know the video will never, ever, ever do the painting justice. It's one of those things where you have to see it in person. But I am just so excited to actually put um, my artwork onto a canvas. It just makes it something, I don't know, special. So I hope that you guys keep up with your art, um, your art forms, your practicing your art. You only get better every time you play. So that's my little message for you for the 2016 season is just to keep playing. Don't forget... Um, to have fun with your art, just embrace it, have lots of fun. So I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in 2016 at the Crafty Maven Getaway channel. I'm hoping to do some new videos over on my channel, no promises. It's been a little crazy around here. So um, do not forget to check out my channel, which is Maggie Milo over on YouTube, as well as Facebook, Instagram, and um, Tumblr and Twitter, anything, social media, I am on it. So thanks everybody for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Crafty Maven Getaway and have a great Christmas and New Year. Talk to you soon. Bye.